Hey guys, Christina Nichols for the Art Bunch National Film Festival with actor Isai Morales who is winning a Lifetime Achievement Award tonight. Isai, what does that feel like to be presented tonight with a Lifetime Achievement Award? It means I'm very old. <laughs> You're going to say that. I shouldn't have asked like that. No, no I'm, I'm grateful because um, while I don't feel old, I, I feel like I've been in this for 35 years and for people to wonderfully acknowledge my efforts my humanity, which is really what the ARPA Film Festival is about, is a, a great honor and something that I, I'm very um, humbled and, and um, I feel privileged to accept and receive. And I, I don't know what to say. I have 10,000 things in my mind that I could say, and I can only say a few, but um, I just hope to reach the people in person here as I like to do on film and on television. Well, you started off with Bad Boys, opposite of Sean Penn, and then La Bamba, and then Somebody you just continued work. working on so many films and television shows, including NYPD Debut. As an actor, is there any uh, roles that you've played over the years that really stand out to you? Well, I just finished one, which was the President of the United States on HBO's The Brink. We got picked up for a second season and then not. So, you know, I can lo always look back. I mean, Bad Boys put me on the map. La Bamba kept me there. And I will forever be grateful for that incredible role that literally had my name on it. People wanted me to play Richie and go for it. And that would have been nice. But I think Lou did a great job with Richie. And I'm glad I played Bob because that's where all the problems were. <laughs> yes. What can you say to actors out there to help them keep going? Well, the thing is, find out if this is really for you. You know, there's different reasons people become actors. Sometimes they're, they can be very simple and other times they're profound. But find out if, if this nourishes your soul in a way that nothing else does, then continue. Because you need to nourish your soul. You can make all the money in the world. You can have all the popularity. You can be a big star and still not feel whole inside, not feel like you're doing what you were born to do and make sure this is what you were born to do and then no matter the highs or lows it's worth it learn to love and love to learn those are my mottos speaking of nourishing the soul you're very active in the community tell us about some of that well i never wanted to be that actor that just waits by the phone and is all about the headlines or the or you know the ratings because you're never going to be happy so I figure, what's the best way that I could spend my time? And that's learning about the world, becoming conscious about who really needs help, and lending a hand, keeping in touch with humanity, never letting your mind get too big for your britches, realizing that we're all just people wanting to be loved. At the end of the day, we all want to be loved. We all want to have meaning in our lives. So what I, you know, what I tell the people that want to do this and, um, is, is find meaning get in there challenge yourself and evolve as a human being there's nothing better than to personal evolution every day dedicate yourself to being better than the day before absolutely you're such a wonderful role model i think for all well, like you know because you're really involved it's not just about the work it's also about the community you call yourself an activist how did this term originate i don't know i mean you know, i'm an actor and i'm an activist and uh, I figured, well, why not, you know, nowadays when everything's mashed up, why don't you just combine the words? And that's what I am. I mean, look, there were, there were some great actors that have been activists, from Paul Robeson in the 30s to Marlon Brando to so many people today, Matt Damon. I mean, we're human beings too. And just because we're celebrities or maybe famous doesn't mean we're not part of the community. Doesn't mean we don't pay taxes like everybody else does and we don't have a right to our opinions. So I'm an activist because I want to remind people that we're human beings too and we deserve to be heard and we take our time to study. Not everybody, you know, I, I, I don't like to be just given lines and okay, what's the charity, okay, and just read the lines. I really want to know that the money is going somewhere meaningful and that people are actually going to be helped and that, it, you know, even if it's a little bit, make a difference that matters is better than just getting press for being an angel. You know what? That, people see through that eventually. If you care about something, add your passion to it. Hi, it's Isai, who, a very grateful Isai Morales, who is um, humbled by your honor and inspired by what you're striving to do with the creative arts. This is what we live for. The soul is made divine by what it 
Not by what it does, but by what it strives to do. And you're striving to bring people together through the arts. There's nothing better than that. Thank you. Thank you.